Welcome to yet another episode of the Amiga CD32 Review Project. For the first time whilst doing this review project, I've been playing a classic fighting game. The game is Brutal, Pause of Fury, published by Game Tech in 1995. Brutal, Pause of Fury was released on a number of platforms back in the day. The initial release was on the Sega CD, but versions for the Mega Drive, Super Nintendo, Sega 32X, DOS, Amiga and Amiga CD32 soon followed. The story in Brutal is simple. The Dalai Lama, who is actually a Lama, not the Buddhist leader, has invited the best fighters in the world to a tournament held on the uncharted Brutal Island. The winner of this tournament is allowed the privilege of challenging the Dalai Lama himself to a fight giving them the chance to win the coveted belt of heaven and the right to call themselves the greatest fighter in the world. Of course, story doesn't really matter in a fighting game, but there you have it. The game's a pretty standard one-on-one -on -one fighting game. You choose a character before each fight. Yes, you can choose a new fighter for each match, something I found a tiny bit weird. And you then need to win two rounds in order to win the fight. Initially, there are eight characters to choose from. Kung Fu Bunny, Prince Leon of Kenya, Ray Rat, Tai Cheetah, Kendo Coyote, Foxy Roxy, Ivan the Bear, and Panther. Each fighter has his or her particular fighting style, and of course they vary in speed and strength as in most fighting games. On one end of the spectrum you have small nibble creatures like the fox or the rat, and on the other you have the slow but extremely powerful bear. All pretty standard stuff really. What's a bit funny though is that you only use two buttons in this game, one for kicking and one for punching. Personally that suited me just fine though, seeing as I'm not much of a fighting game expert, so simple is good. There's one twist though, in order to punch or kick harder you must hold down the button for a little while and the blow will then be delivered when you release the button. A funny thing about Brutal that sets it a bit apart from other fighters is how it handles special moves. Initially when you begin playing the game you don't have the full move set for the characters. These you have to earn along the way. Each time you've defeated two opponents the character you used in the last fight is awarded a new special move. The first move you learn is the pretty useless taunt, but you quickly advance to some more interesting moves. Once you've learned a special move, you receive a password that you can enter when you start the game so that you can start with the move set you've earned. I like the graphical style of the game, the animation and the sound effects and music. It may just be me, but the whole cute fighter thing works for me. The game has one big flaw though, the gameplay. This fighter simply hasn't been playtested enough, I think. Most fights can be won by standing in the corner and repeatedly doing hard kicks or punches. You quickly master doing these hard attacks by holding the button down a little while before releasing it. And once you've got that, the fights become extremely easy. When I first picked up this title, I played it for a little less than an hour. And I completed the game twice in that period of time. There's also a single level that seems as if they never playtested it at all. The one called The Mountain. Here you're fighting on a small platform, and the computer opponents fall off all the time. Just have a look here. But let's take a look at what the reviewers back in the day had to say about the game. Amiga Format gave the game 65%, and they seem to agree with me on most points. The graphics are cute and handsome, the selection of fighters interesting and so on and so forth but the game is let down by the gameplay and the difficulty, or lack thereof. They write, But Brutal isn't much of a challenge, and it's certainly not a game for anyone who has the slightest idea about how to play beat-em-ups. The paucity of moves ensures that the gameplay quickly becomes one-dimensional, a fact that even the character's amusing quirks can't quite overcome. The one gave the game 69%, finishing the review off with, the end result looks stunning, but unfortunately it's all let down by the severe lack of gameplay. The sad thing is that Brutal suffers from exploding fist syndrome. This is where a match can be won simply by repeating the same moves over and over again. At the end of the day, this is a very polished product that would be perfect if it wasn't for a few flaws in the gameplay. Stuart Campbell of Amiga Power apparently gave the game the low score of 27%, but I couldn't find that review anywhere. On the other end of the spectrum, Amiga Action gave the game a whopping 90% score. On average though, considering the 7 review scores I could find, the game got a 62% score, which pretty much fits with my impression of the game. 
I enjoyed playing around with Brutal for the hour that I revisited it, but I won't be going back to it, I think. As a single player experience, I award this game a 3 out of 5 score. When played with a friend, it would probably be a 4 instead.